And joining us now is DDW Council Chair, Dr. Grace Elta. It's been a great week so far, Doctor. Uh, what have been some of the highlights for you? This has just been a tremendous meeting. I think that this convention center fits our societies the best. Uh, so, you know, we have great space, uh, great location for all the meetings, right sized rooms. Um, so, to me, that's been a real highlight. The other highlights, of course, have been the courses the ASG postgrad course and the AGA postgrad course have both been terrific, great attendance. In general, we have good attendance this year, so we're real pleased with that. Uh, and of course, we have um, you know lots of international and lots of national attendees uh, learning the best science and, and the best patient care. And still a lot to look forward to. Uh, what are you looking forward to? There's a, several new things this year, which I'm excited about. Um, we have uh, uh, academic debate uh, that will be run this year by the AASLD and the ASGE. Um, and that'll be two uh, academic medical centers with their fellows actually doing the debate and there'll be winners and losers. So that should be fun, you know, a little different than what we've usually done. We have um, another new item we've done this year is instead of poster tours, where we used to have an expert tour the poster center. Now we have a poster theater where you can hear an expert go over some of the highlight posters of that day. And that's occurring each day uh, during the noon hour in the poster session. Um, so I think that's exciting too. And, and again, the, one of the most exciting thing here is always what's the latest science? Uh, you know, what, 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 what are the new abstracts? What are the new ideas? What are the, the new uh, large clinical trials that will help us take care of our patients? Now you actually spoke on uh, gender and diversity inequities in gastroenterology. Uh, talk to us about some of the issues that you addressed during that talk. Right, that was, uh, uh, there's a four society uh, women's group, so it's the four GI societies that, that join together uh, and try to address these issues. And they usually every year have a, a session at this meeting. Um, and but the, the things we talked about are there still are some inequities that are out there. One of them is still underrepresentation for both women and for underrepresented minorities. We talked about the reasons for that, strategies to try to improve that. Another one is advancement, even though um, women have been 50% of medical students for almost 25 years, uh, there aren't very many in, in higher levels, uh, either in practices or in academic medical centers. And then the last is pay. There's still a huge pay differential uh, between men and women gastroenterologists, even when you adjust for hours worked and you know ownership of practice, et cetera. Still a lot of work to do. In that yeah, area. yeah, there's still a lot of work to do. Yeah. But, I, but we've made tremendous progress. So I actually don't feel negative about it at yeah. all. I, I've been attending DDW for 35 years, and I see tremendous progress. It's great that you focus on that. Yeah. What do you hope, finally, that the attendees take away with them? when they leave here? I think for every attendee, it's a little different. For the researcher, they're hoping to see the latest and greatest research and perhaps get some ideas that may change their research path. I think for the clinician, and, and most of our attendees are clinicians, uh, we want to know the best way to take care of our patients. And I, I do think that these type of meetings with you know the latest clinical updates that you hear from the experts, you hear the controversies, do improve our patient care. And of course, that's our long-term goal. Dr. Grace Elta, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.